pa 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 Welcome to pa 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 new series Who's that Pokemon very hard edition expert mode edition featuring yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to introduce yourself My name's Robbie Wow okay so here's the here's here's the backstory let's tell you we're going to tell you the backstory so uh, I played this game uh, with my friend. You did it with somebody that wasn't me. Mm -hmm. You made. The, I, I think thought I was that saying, we came up with this together. Uh, I think <gasps> I maybe in like knew. in like third or fourth grade. End the video. Okay, okay. In third or fourth grade, we play it on a swing set. We're in sixth grade now. Yeah. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. So and I don't know. One time we were just like sitting in a place we never we, we, to do. We so went to get sushi. Place. We went to get sushi and we oh, were waiting for the food. That is the first time we I played think. this. Right. Yeah. 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 And we, Rob was like, do you want to play this game? And I was like, hmm? So the way that it works, or maybe you should do the rules because I don't really, you, you know the rules better than I do. Uh, well, essentially it's like 20 questions except we haven't decided what the limit of questions is and one of us has a Pokemon in mind. So that's essentially like you ask questions to try to narrow down what the other Pokemon the other person is thinking of. We've, yeah, we're kind of winging this at first. We'll do a couple episodes of this series, but yeah, I think this is, yeah. It's it's surprisingly fun. If you're a competitive player, you're probably thinking, that sounds really, that sounds really boring. Like I, or like you're thinking that sounds really easy. It's really hard. I, Rob is actually a lot better at it than I am. So go easy on me in the comments. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. And so I'm, I'm curious to see how you guys do. Yes. Uh, you'll have to let us know. We'll give you a little. We'll give you a pause to pause the video after each before each guest, so you can write down what you think. But um, it's a, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna start off with I think five questions, and we ban certain questions that are too like busted, that give it away, like make it too easy. Um, and we can also pass on any questions that will make it too easy. But we'll start with five, and then I think at the end of the video we'll 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 try and do like maybe uh, a three a three question round because we used to do three questions, uh, and that was really hard. So okay, that's the premise. If you have any questions, please talk to my uh, manager. Um, and let's begin. I have a Pokemon in mind. Ask me anything. Okay. My first question is, if this Pokemon had a job in the real world, what would it be? Um, hmm. If this Pokemon had a job in the real world, let's see. This Pokemon could help with composting. Okay. One question used. Do you find, on a scale of 1 to 10, how aesthetically pleasing is it to look at this Pokemon? Scale of 1 to 10? I think some people could find it cute, but I would personally, and I think a lot of people would agree, I'm giving it a 3, not because it's not cute, but because it's kind of gross. Okay, so it's gross, composting, there's a theme here, right? Yeah, um, there might be some, there might be a pattern. So, it's, um, it's probably like slimy. Or has to do with like maybe like mushrooms or like maybe I, I don't know much about like biology and creatures, but mm. like maybe it has to do with like decomposing things. Don't read too much into that one, is all I'll say. Stop. Can you give me one of the types? One of the types is You don't have to if you don't if you think it'll be too easy. One of the types is poison. Okay. Which we expected. Yeah. That didn't help you too much. Uh, um and it could just be poison. It could be pure poison. Who yeah. knows? I'm thinking of who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a Moongus. I'm thinking, I mean, really, like, who else do you have? Parasect. Um, you have Garboder. You have Mock. Some people might find it cute. So it could be Trubbish. <laughs> okay. Could you pick it up with your hands? Yes. Okay. Okay. But, now you, but you shouldn't. It was pretty. It was pretty immediate. Okay. You could have like a pick it up with your hands. So Unless it's, it's like so Dunsparce, who's actually like six feet tall. You know. <laughs> what? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Dunsparce is like six feet or something. Bruh. You can pick him up. Question left. I know. He's poison. You pick him up. He would help with composting, and some people might find him cute, but generally you don't think he's aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Is he in generation four and prior? Four and so four is inclusive. Yes. Yes. Oh, so he's not trubbish. Okay. But you're Those are trouble. my five questions. Yeah, that's it. So he's poison type. Okay. Before you guess, all right, chat. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and you don't have to. End, you can just hit. Just hit. You can edit your comments. It's fine. Let us know. Oh gosh. First guess. What do you think? Okay. If I don't. Okay. So we should do five questions. If you get it wrong, you get one more question. Right. A redemption question. Okay. Sure. Right. Yeah. That's fair. So I don't think it's Quillfish, right? Oh, you told me you don't want to pick him up. No, you said, can I said, can I pick him up? And I, and, and you said, yes, but I wouldn't. Yeah. That's what you said. That's right. 
Which, to be fair, is true of a lot of poison types, right? Quillfish would help with composting. No, that's so weird. No, it would do something different. It would do like like a it would be like a marine mine. Yeah. Right. Okay, so it wouldn't be quillfish. Other poison types. I'm going through Gen two because Gen two is the easiest to think through. Yeah. Can I change? Can I change the answer to what you would do in the real world? I thought of a better one. Because yeah. composting really doesn't isn't really true. Yeah. I think you could use you could use this Pokemon if like you needed to go into a place with like toxic gas. And like some place like where it was like or like some place that like for like search and rescue missions in places where like it was smelly. It would go into places where it was smelly. Yeah. I mean it, it has well yeah, I don't want to say anymore. So, so I, it's, it was a hard question. It's hard for this Pokemon specifically. Okay. I mean not specifically, but for me. My mind's going to Grimer. Coughing. Something that's like immune to stench. Stunky is a good one. Okay, so that I'm, I'm thinking it might be stunky. I feel like Skuntank's probably too big for you to pick up. Eh, it's the size of like a large cat or a dog. Some people might find it cute. Okay, I don't think people would find Grimer or Coughing cute. So I'm thinking Stunky. I'm thinking Stunky or Skuntank. Okay. Now I just have to decide. Okay, I'm gonna say Stunky, final answer. You knew that was a Pokemon? Yeah, that's it. It was Stunky. Yeah! <laughs> oh, how did you get that? Your questions were so whack. Oh my god. He smell. I can't believe you got that. I forgot Stunky was a Pokemon. I was like, I was like, I. I okay, so I'm I'm playing Pokemon Go right now. Oh, right? that's And Generation right. Four is my favorite generation. Right. The zipper's on the wrong side. Oh, you'll find that. You'll find that. Wolf just got new clothes. I got new so. clothes. This is new. Do you guys like it? Please like this video. It gives you attitude. <laughs> yeah. It says, I'm a nice boy, but I wear dark jacket. Okay. Okay. All right. You have to think of one. I have my list. Rob, Rob did more prep than I did. I like to be prepared. He likes to be prepared. I don't like to be prepared. Shockingly. If you follow this channel, you're probably very surprised to hear that. I don't want to give you one that's too hard, right? Yeah, I'm not very good at it. It's going to get... I think we should start easy and get harder. Although, I'm surprised you got Stunky. Okay. I have mine for you. Okay. Yeah. Is this a Pokemon that you could bring with you to dinner like if you went to a restaurant yeah <laughs> uh, um yeah no because okay. that's not the question you asked that's the i'm answering the question you asked no okay um uh what, what pokemon could you bring to dinner you i'm could just bring curious. registeel to dinner you could bring like lillipop to dinner i don't get why would you bring registeel to dinner he's like about human sized you know so i don't know what what your the question because when you're thinking you couldn't bring, bring him to dinner, on to dinner. Yeah, but you, you couldn't could... bring Salamis in there and he wouldn't fit. You could bring something small. Why would Registeel fit? He's like human sized. He's like six feet. So you're just asking me what size? You're asking me the size of the Pokemon? Well, you, I wouldn't want to bring Skuntank to dinner. Because he smell. Stunky smell. I don't know the question you're asking. All right. I'm going to omit this question because I don't. You're, you're, it's like you're, it's a rough story. you're categorizing a, bunk, a bunch of different. Like, I was just asking what your size opinion. is he? What, what is he smell like? But what, I don't like, know why you couldn't bring him to dinner. I just said, could you bring him to dinner? But but you might bring this Pokemon to dinner. I would bring Registeel to dinner. But, but I, wouldn't I wouldn't bring Regigigigis because he's too big. But I wouldn't bring that. You wouldn't bring Registeel to dinner? I'm trying to think of the Pokemon that I'd bring to dinner would be something that like I wouldn't be embarrassed, right? That's I would not I'm be doing. embarrassed if Registeel went with me to dinner. I would feel so cool. If you're rigid, you're right, please so come yes, to me. Yes, yes. I think you would bring. I think you would. Bring you think I would bring this Pokemon to dinner? Yeah. All right. Okay. So it's not Groudon. That's all we need to know, guys. It's over. Is it? No, I was gonna say is it. Mm, okay. It. But initial answer was no. Okay. Um. What yeah. sense does this Pokemon? Uh. What? How do we say it? Like, what sense is most useful in identifying this Pokemon? Like, if you were to, if you could only use one sense to identify what Pokemon that we're talking about, which one is like the most poignant, the most strong? Hmm. It's it's tough because if it doesn't fit any of them, you're just mostly gonna say sight, right? Right. If it doesn't have anything, so I'm gonna so while there aren't any that stick out, yeah, I would say I would say touch. Okay. Uh, can I have one of its typings? Bug. Okay, so we've got a bug, probably a dual type, and it's touchy boy. <laughs> and we can bring it to dinner. That doesn't help. Bugs are so big. I mean, bugs are so small. No bug. There's you can bring every bug to dinner. You asked the question, dude. Why? <laughs> you should have started off with a more basic question and then used the goofy questions to narrow it down. Oh, okay, Mister, I'm so good at this game. It's a bug. Well, there's not that many bugs. It could be Caesar. It could be Skyther. What are the bugs? Um, there's all the base bugs like Butterfree and Beedrill. Before or after Gen Four? And Gen Four being in the before category. Yeah, four I think below. that's what we usually do. Yeah, four or below. You can choose four or below or four or above, but I'm doing four or below. 
Actually, I'm doing four or above. Is it four, five, six? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's, seven. There's seven. Okay, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's not that so many. That was four questions. I have one left. Okay. I know it's, it's I know it's a bug type that you could bring. I I know that it's a bug type from generation one, two, or three, and that it's a touchy boy. Um, so it could be Skizor because he could snap your hands off. Um, let's go through the bugs. Butterfree. I guess Butterfree and Beedrill will both be touch because they can sting you, and Butterfree can like poison you. Scizor comes to really? mind. Really, I would think Butterfree would be sight. Butterfree it's might really be pretty. sight. Yeah, Butterfree's really pretty. Okay. Yeah. And even. Oh, I guess. Beedrill could like flap his little wings too. What does that do? <laughs> like that. It could be when I'm on sound. Yeah, sound. Ah. Honestly, that was that was the thing for a lot of bugs is is they can create sound. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I guess Venomoth. Okay, so we got Venomoth, Caesar. I think Cry should be bonus one because I don't think anyone's ever gonna ask for Cry. It's yeah. never gonna be helpful. But I still. Oh yeah. I want. Do if I don't get it on my first guess, I'll guess um, Cry. I don't okay. think you would give me Caesar. I don't think it's Caesar. Okay. What are the other? What are Gen two bugs? Spinarak, Ariados. Hmm. How many legs do all these Pokemon have? How many limbs do all these Pokemon have? Butterfree has two because it has those little feet. Oh, are wings limbs? All right, we're not asking that. You could you could specify as much as you want. How many? I don't know how many limbs every Pokemon has. I don't even know. I'm th okay, what are the Gen three bugs? I can't think of any. Volbeat and Elamize, those are pure bug types. What other Gen three bugs are there? What is the first bug you encounter? I can't think of it. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh. Dust Hawks and Silcoon and Beautifly. There's no way I'm gonna be able to distinguish between Beautifly and Butterfree. I wanna ask, does this Pokemon learn Sleep Powder? But that really isn't gonna help me narrow it down that much. Beautifly doesn't learn Sleep Powder, does it? I think it does. Um, You could bring it to dinner. I think it's Caesar, but I'm not gonna say that. It has a dual typing, I assume. It's a dual type bug Pokemon. What's a viable, which if you were to choose one, what's the Pokemon that this Pokemon could go up against that would give it the worst, the most trouble? Like if this Pokemon goes up against another Pokemon, what would give it the most trouble? Probably, I would choose Magcargo. Magcargo. Fire Rock. Okay. So it's not Caesar. That narrows it down. It's it's bug flying, right? So it's going to be Beautifly or Butterfree? Or Vespaqueen is Gen 3? Oh, frick. Vespaqueen is Gen 3. Or Combi. Combi is Gen 3. Beautifly is flying type. Butterfree is flying type. Dust Talks is poison type. Mm -hmm. Carnivine's grass type. Volbeat. Lamaze. Scyther. There's so many bug flying. I didn't learn it. I mean, I learned something. Is it Scyther? Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Yeah. Yes! I never get it. I never get it. Yeah. Oh. You forgot. You, like, uh, you didn't. I forgot a lot of bugs. Oh, Gen. No, Best Bitcoin is Gen 4. Sorry. I got oh, <laughs> okay. I, I was like, I was like, yeah, he hasn't been considering any Gen 4 Pokemon. Like, there's Botham and, and, and Wormadom. I'm and... so happy I got it. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. That's oh. good. Oh, I'm so much pressure. Okay. Right. Um, I'm gonna choose. Okay. I got it. Okay. You know what color this Pokemon is. I do. You do? Yeah. Okay. I think. I'm bad with colors. I know you are. Okay, I need the color. Okay, what's the color? Red. Red. Okay. You didn't think you could bring Scyther to dinner? I could totally bring Scyther to dinner. I just thought he would... You think you would be embarrassed to have Scyther there? Yeah. In his wings, constantly flapping around. Ooh, but he can... Can he choose he to would, not like, blow things wings? away? Oh. And, like, how would he eat? Oh. I wasn't thinking about them eating. I was just thinking about having them there. You, the question was, there's so many ways to take that question. That's why I was like kind of mad. Listen, if it looks stupid and it works, it's not stupid. Would you trust this Pokemon with a baby? No! Oh, no! Oh, God! No, 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 no. Okay, so Jeff, this is a big no. Big um, no. It's red, uh -huh. and we would not trust it with a baby. Uh, not at all. All right, so right now, off the bat, I'm thinking it's something big and scary <laughs> and dangerous. Okay. So who, so Volcanion comes to mind, um, red, big and red, Darmanitan. Like your speaker. Big I'm not, and red. I'm not really this short, I'm just Big watching. and red, Dredagon, big and red, red Gyarados. <laughs> <laughs> Shinies are off the, off the table, but that is, that, that is not a Pokemon I I don't know what color baby. Milotic is. I'm assuming it's Milotic's blue, but. I honestly could I don't know if it would be red of all the three colors. But I would trust Milotic with baby. I don't have any hands. 
It wouldn't uh, hurt the baby. Like, it should, wrap around yeah, it. but it would keep it warm. It's a generation four and below. One, two, three, or four. Yes. Good. That's why. Yeah, we didn't do any of the new ones. Okay, so we have Magmar, Magmortar. I asked for color if it can hold a baby in what generation? If you could trust it with a baby. If you could trust it with a baby. Yeah, you, you could probably, I, I mean, most Pokemon can probably hold a baby. Jinx. We trust Jinx with a baby. I wouldn't trust Jinx with a baby. Yeah, but right now. Right, 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 right. uh, nah, uh, that's like saying, would you trust Mr. Mime with your baby? Okay. I wouldn't want Jinx. Jinx, stay away from my baby. What job would this Pokemon have in the real world? I think this Pokemon could work on a train. Like, I want to say because it's a red Pokemon, it would be fire. And now that you say train, I want to think that even more. Because of, like, coal? And, like, the coal Pokemon are, like, Magby, Magmar, and Magmortar. How rare is this Pokemon? Uh, relatively common. Relatively common? Not, uh... Like, easy to get in a game. Yeah, you, you would encounter this Pokemon relatively early in the game that it's in. Not incredibly early, but bef definitely before the halfway point. I'd say between, like, badges three and five, probably. Oh my god. Okay, chat! What do you think? Which Pokemon is Wolfie thinking of? This is hard. It is hard. You should ask if you could take it to dinner. It would have given you the answer right away. Okay, so what do we know? We know it's red. It, we wouldn't trust it with a baby. Are you going to play the cry? I'm going to listen to the cry. Okay. <laughs> so you can't hear it. Are you sure I won't be able to hear it with your headphones? Please go into another room just in case. Yeah. And I'm going to talk over with the viewers. Okay, so we know it's red. We know we can't trust it with our baby. We... It would work on a train in the real world. It's pretty easy to get in game. You get it between gen... Th er, roughly three and five. So Magmortar. That's what we're feeling. Magmar. Other red Pokemon. Torkoal. Torkoal would be really good. Oh, uh, is he? But I think he's orange. All right, I'm ready. You got a guess? I'm really close. Okay. I thought of Torkoal. Okay. Which I think is good, but I don't think he's red. I think he's orange. He's he's orange with a, a black shell. You know, like between games, like the color that it makes it like changes. That's right? why you have to use the Pokedex. And like color. the artwork is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so I think it's either Torkoal or it's something in the Magmar family. Ready to guess? What's your crime? No, you have to guess first. Oh, and then I get a redemption. Yeah. I'm gonna guess Torkoal. Mm -hmm. And the cry is. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Not in the Magmar family. You know what the Magmar family's cries sound like? They're really low. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if it's high-pitched... Alright, chat, take your guess number two. Oh my gosh! Oh. I, 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 I'm glad I didn't ask type because this is becoming more challenging, but it's really hard. Okay, so Electrode, maybe. I wouldn't trust him with my baby. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him. That's one of the worst Pokemon to leave with your baby. Lickitung. The Lickitung's pink. I would not trust Lickitung with my baby. In a minute. They would get diseases. Oh, I have no idea. All right, you gotta guess. I know I do. That's the game. Yep. Camerupt! No. Ah, uh, what was it? Slugma. It was Slugma? Because I wanted to say Slugma balls. I, I completely erat- like- I know, you were like, nah, I wouldn't be Macargo, and I was like, alright, here's the cry. Oh, it sounded different in my head. Oopsie, not what I want. <laughs> I could- I didn't want to listen again once I joined. I thought it was higher than that. Oh. <laughs> That's what it sounded like in my head. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alright. Well, one. I still feel good about that one. It was hard, honestly. Like, I feel like my clues were fine. Like, you wouldn't, I wouldn't trust Slugma with my baby. I tried asking harder questions. Yeah. I'll do this. I'll probably do the same. Uh, yeah. So, wouldn't trust Slugma with my baby. And I feel like Train was a good, I feel like that was a good clue because you immediately were on the fire, the fire type. Yeah. Uh, Train. Alright, this is the last one. This is the last one for the episode, unless it's too long, in which case we'll split it into two. How much trouble would this Pokemon cause in the real world? Not much. That's really nice. I'm so proud. Yeah. Okay, so it's not Groudon. How how many Pokemon 
are in this one's evolutionary line, and what what number is it in its evolutionary line? Two, and it's the second. Okay, so it's two, and it's not Groudon. It's not any legendaries. Um, is this Pokemon in generation five, six, or seven? No. Shoot, I should have included four. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I have two left. All I know is that it's not going to cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, I have to ask. Okay, what can I have? One of the types. Steel. Yes, okay, it's Steelix. Um. <laughs> It's super Steelix. You've definitely chosen Steelix. Steel. Okay, Skarmory, Heatran. No. Steelix. Skarmory doesn't evolve. Not Magnezone. It's Steelix. Would you do Scissor? Would you do that to me? There's not that many Steel types in Gen 1. So, there's Steelix in Gen 2. Skarmory Gen 2. Scissor Gen 2. Magneton doesn't count because it's 3. Bronzong is Gen 4. It wouldn't cause a lot of trouble. Steelix might cause some trouble. Bronzong wouldn't cause that much. I'm thinking of something small. Water steel, grass steel, ferrothorn. I can see the list on Cerebi in my head. I just don't, I just don't know. Um, I got one question left. Is this Pokemon average, or larger than average, or below average height? I think, I'm pretty sure this Pokemon is bigger than us. Bigger than us, so yeah. taller than six feet? It's definitely bulkier, right? Yeah. Like it could They're be, all bulkier. It could be like taller than us. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's probably similar to our size. Okay. It really sounds like Scissor, right? Bastiodon and Scissor. What are the other steel types? Gen 1 I've gone through. Gen 2 I don't remember. Gen 3. Oh, it could be Bronzong. I forgot. So Scissor, Bronzong, Bastiodon. Put your answers in the chat. I'm going Bronzong. Final answer. Uh -uh. Alright, give me the cry. Okay. Oh, I know that! I know that! Oh, I know it! Mm. Ah, I know it! I know it! What is it? Okay, it's like... Uh. It's the... It's the <laughs> I know it! Um, oh, I feel like it's electric type! Why do I feel like it's electric type? Who am I forgetting? Toga tomorrow, no. Empoleon, no. Okay, Gen 1. It's just Magnezone. That's the only steel type, right? I'm not crazy. Magneton, Magnemite? I believe that's the only steel type. Gen 2 is Skarmory and Steelix and Scissor. Ooh, this is so hard. I know, I know it. You're really close, too. I, I know. Ah, I'm so close. Oh. I honestly, I'm just kidding. I, I'm so close. I know it. I'm, I'm going to feel so dumb when you tell me. Don't tell me yet. It's like some. It's like Kling Clang, but it's not. It's it's not Deli Bird. Can you do the sound again? Uh, it's so hard. <laughs> it's really like Bastiodon. It's who are the Gen Three Steel Pokemon? I can't think of them. <sighs> it's Gen Three. <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> Bronzong. So you're not you're not right i know and you know like it's so funny because you've been circling around all the pokemon that are very similar to it i know okay so if i were if it were to have a job in the real world yeah it would be like identifying where or would like where rare ores would be it's a digging pokemon it finds the stuff on the ground mm -hmm. i can't think of any gen 3 steel pokemon it's not gen 3 is it gen 4 mm -hmm. okay is it electric no. What type is it? I, I literally, I've, this is broken. Okay, the Pokemon is... Trogo Pass. I for, I did not remember that was a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But it was funny because as soon as I gave you the cry, you thought of like Magnet, right? You I knew of, it was Magnet! You, do, you knew! I knew it was some you friggin- knew. I, I was like, it's electric! And you kept going around, you were like, ah, oh, like Magnet, it's like, it's very similar to Magnet and Bastiodon, right? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, how much did you how much did the chat get? Let's listen to you did a good job with the cry. Let's listen to the cry. It's so long. Yeah. It's so complicated. Which I was like, I was hoping it was like complex. Yeah. <laughs> You're so good! Grisham! <laughs> oh, I forgot about Proba Pass. Mm. I was honestly never gonna get that. When you said steel type and how many people are in its family, and I answered both of them very easily, I yeah. was like. That doesn't leave many. Yeah, and I know. You also, didn't think of Fortress. Which no, I, thought you I forgot thought about of Fortress. I forgot about him. Because I was like, at any point in this game, I could change it to Fortress, yeah. and he would have no idea. Because <laughs> it really, it was like, <laughs> wouldn't cause any issues. At least I got sight there. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think about this series. It's a lot of fun for us. Like, this is something we gen we've been doing for a while just for fun. So if, if people enjoy it, then we'll make more. Um, you need more. You need more exciting, moving fast, kind of getting the user in our, like yeah. involved with things on your channel. So yeah. I think this is a good. It's, and it's fun for us, right? Like, this was this was we were recording for fifty minutes. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> a lot of that. Uh, but it it felt like you know it moved quickly. So yeah. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Give us Thank your feedback. You. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>